DBS community, welcome back with another Dragon Ball Super video here with Kyle Chris. Today we're going to be looking at the Future Sun Gohan list. Um, I've been playing this deck uh, quite a bit. I'm I'm actually pretty tempted uh, within the next maybe two store, store events that we have. I may end up playing a list very similar to this. Um, I really like the Gohan leader. I think this leader is... It's it's underrated. Is is it is is it as good as Mega Frieza? No. Um, so that's that's a big thing. <laughs> it's not as good as Mega Frieza. Um, but there's a lot of matchups where this deck actually can be pretty good, and um, a lot of it obviously has to do with what you draw first. Starting hands bad. Deck kind of slows down a little bit. But the concept of the deck is really cool. And Future Go On is one of my favorite characters. So said why not why not give it a shot so uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe let me know what you guys think of the deck list down below hit the bell for notifications we do post videos weekly on the channel and we'll go right here into what the leader does so the leader has two different awaken effects um one is when one of your battle cards that have blocker uh is ko'd yep so when one of your battle cards with blocker is ko'd uh you draw two cards you burst well first you burst three draw two cards and then you flip your life over, uh, you, you flip your leader over and then you add cards um, to your hand from your life till you have six life left. Or you're a awaken at four life, restand one, draw one leader. Now the auto effect to awaken is not if your card activates blocker, it's just if one of your cards with blocker gets KO'd. So that's either by skill or by, um, by attacking. Uh, obviously you're just a auto attack, draw one. On this side, uh, when you attack, you draw a card, and then you give one of your yellow future trunks cards uh, 5k and crit for the turn. Then on defense, uh, when one of your opponent's cards attacks, yeah, when one of your opponent's cards attacks, you choose one of your trunks uh, trunks future cards, switch it to rest mode. I mean, switch it to active mode, and again 6k for the turn. Now this auto can be triggered before uh, your opponent, basically before you can negate. Um, so when your opponent attacks, you can activate this auto to restand one of your trunks to then use it as a blocker. Um, that's just part of, that's how the ruling is. That's what it says on the website, which is, I think, a very, very cool ruling. It, it, it gives the deck a little more defensive options because you can restand one of your blockers and then negate and then use your blocker for the next attack. So it is a, it, it's a very cool, very, very cool thing. Um, it also works very, very well against things like uh, Xenocell uh, Retaliation Cooler. So uh, if your opponent, you know, plays Xeno Cell, they swing in, um, you can restand one of your blockers and then activate a negate. And then if they cooler, it's fine. Um, then you have a blocker for the next attack. All right, so go over the list here. And um, it's a very fun list. Uh, some of the cards are very uh, noticeable for most of the decks that play this. So uh, here is the one drop trunks package. Uh, Everyone knows what this card does now. It was kind of one of the the secret spices going into set 13, and then everyone started playing it. And now it's just kind of a staple. Uh, dependable Saiyan Trunks, you play this, search top three for a yellow Saiyan, add it to your hand, and shuffle. And that can be any yellow Saiyan, regardless of the um, regardless of the name or the energy cost. Also, it doesn't state uh, mono yellow. So you also can grab multicolor Saiyans as well. So you can grab red yellow, red green, um, I mean yellow green, yellow blue, and yellow red. Um, and then this guy here, whenever one of your Gohan cards, uh, your Gohan future cards activates blocker. I'm sorry, when, um, I'm skipping the thing here. When one of your yellow sun Gohan future cards is KO'd by a skill or is removed by a, by a skill, uh, so it's KO'd or removed by a skill, you play one three drop future trunks card on top of this card. Um, so this card is iffy um we want to play this off with um, the next card here but um it, this this card only pulls from the deck doesn't actually play from hand so this card if we have this card in our hand and we have this this card's dead so we just charge it uh, this is the better option uh at that point um the uh go on here you play it for two it's a blocker when this card activates blocker it's so when it activates the blocker um or when it's removed by a skill. So when this card is removed by a skill or activates blocker, um, you can play out a, a one drop future trunks from your deck. So you can play out either one of these. So the idea is that when, you, when your opponent attacks, you block with this. When you activate this, you play this from your deck. This card then dies at the end of the battle and then you play a three drop on top of this. 
Um, smart, really, really smart players will try to counterplay this, bounce it back to hand, kill it, whatever. Um, that's the smart thing to do. Uh, it does waste another card in your hand, so you're kind of forcing your opponent to, you know, waste an attack, which can then awaken you, uh, and then waste a counterplay to pop one of these. Um, so I, I, I say wasteful, but it, it's, it, it is very helpful. I wish this card wasn't a two drop. I think if uh, in the future, uh, this deck gets a one drop future Gohan that has the same sort of effect, or just one that you can like, like take a life to play out or crit a life to play out, it would be better. Uh, Cause paying two energy for this card is just not good, but it, it is it is part of the deck concept. Um, so I'm playing it. it. It feels really good at some points. Other times you just don't play it cause you don't need to. So it's just, just a way to um, potentially uh, start your chain a little bit earlier. One big piece of tech that I add is the uh, scrambling assault package. So a deck that is really popular right now in the meta and will be popular for a while is going to be King Vegeta. Now, one of the things that King Vegeta does, King Vegeta has the ability to play out a one drop for free or for one energy, and then go into a 10, a 10k, three drop, that allows you to draw two cards. It's pretty good, right? Um, this is kind of the same idea that you do in King Vegeta, but just in yellow. Um, so you play this for one, swap into this for free. And then swing at this card. Scrambling Assault lets you look at the top three cards, add any card, and then bottom deck the other two. No, no energy requirement, no color requirement, no special trait, nothing. Just grab a card, bottom deck the other two. This card is nuts. Um, I'm so glad I got unbanned. But uh, <laughs> it, this is a really cool combination. Um, certain decks like Mecha Frieza, you don't really need to worry about this combination. But other decks, like if you're playing Yellow Gotenks, any other yellow saiyan leader just any leader that's coming out like whether it's the goku lineage leader or just leaders that haven't been announced yet that are saiyan um or just you know that's not mecha frieza because he draws so many cards this is just a really cool combo so also this card you can play for so if on turn two you can swing with your leader play this swap into this swing uh, search draw a card basically play this for the other energy and now you have a blocker on board that you can use to awaken so uh, that's pretty cool uh, for Zamasu, to Bergamo, um, that's for just more defense. Uh, Bergamo probably should be at four, but with everything else in the deck, I couldn't fit four in here. With, uh, with keeping it around the 52, 53, it's 52 cards, I think. Um, three time magic. We don't play Nimbus in this deck. You'll see why, but, uh, time magic is very, very good. Um, you have a blocker at least once per turn at the max twice for one card um and i'll show you how that's possible later on so having uh this to be able to stop multiple the same card from attacking multiple times is pretty good um three power of super saiyan just a staple now for yellow as long as you have one yellow energy up you can activate battle to draw a card and tap down a battle card or a unison and that also will trigger your bergamo um this also can be used as a one drop negate if you needed to as well, so it is pretty versatile with that. And then um, two of them of the uh, Mecha Freeze TPs. Um, if you have more, run run as many of them as you have. Um, you can substitute Gohan or another Time Magic out to add more of this because this card is just insane. Um, as long as you have you have an Energy or in your drop area you have a Mono Yellow Extra card. This card's Energy cost is reduced by one and it can go down to being a one cost. So it goes down to one, and then uh, it's a negate, and your opponent, if your opponent attacks with something other than, an, other than a unison, they have to tap a card before they do it. Uh, if they can't tap anything, then they can't attack anymore. So uh, it's very, very good negate. Um, two Vegeta, that's one of the unisons we run in the deck. Four bigger decks, Sin, Dark Broly, um, hell, even King Vegeta at times. Uh, you just want to stop your opponent from attacking with a lot of stuff until you can set up your until you can s set up your defense. Once you set up your your big trunks, is it's it's much easier to deal with. Um, some tech is going to be the baby unison. This unison probably has never seen any play from anybody. So if you don't if you don't know what it does, it's a three cost. So this came out in I think set eleven, and uh, so it's a three cost fifteen k permanent. If you have two or more yellow battle cards in rest mode. 
uh, this card and your leader gain 5k during your opponent's turn. Uh, oh no, did they just gain 5k in general? So, um, you can actually make your leader and your unison a 20k um, on your, I think that's how it works, right? Yeah, so you can actually make your leader and your unison a 20k unison, uh, as long as you have cards in rest mode. Now, you're going to have blockers, you're going to be able to just swing with stuff. So, realistically, you should be able to keep these at 20 for a little bit. Uh, plus one, you can restand this card at the end of your turn. So it's a 15k, it also is a blocker. So you can sw you can swing with it, um, plus one, then at the, at the end of the turn, restand it. Um, minus two, you choose one of your mono mono yellow battle cards with energy cost five or less, and switch it to active mode. This is kind of cool. Um, obviously, it works for a few different things in the deck, and I'll kind of go over that card once we get through everything. Um, so now back into the trunks package here. Uh, we have the the big boy here, the three drop, one of the big boys, uh, to change the future. So this card, you evolve on top of a Trunks future for one yellow energy. Notice it says future Trunks. So you can play if there is, if they end up printing like red future Trunks cards, if they print, uh, well, there's blue future Trunks cards. There's like uh, the heroic prospect and stuff. So you can actually play this on top of that. Granted, it is one yellow, not colorless, but it, it has some, some um, usage with that. Um, the two energy is if your leader is a Sun Gohan future, you have more than four four yellow uh, four mono yellow energy. Um, you can choose one trunks, uh, one eight drop trunks from your hand and play it on top of this card, and then switch it to active mode. So you can swing with your leader, give this five k and crit. So it's a twenty five k crit, and then you can tap two to evolve into the uh, the big guy, who is your game finisher, might born to hope. It's a cool card. It's a dual attack double strike barrier blocker it's got tons of keyword skills uh this can evolve on top of future trunks for four energy or from this skill here uh now the combination that you generally do is on turn two you play this block with it plays this this card dies this card then searches out this plays on top of it swing with this on your on turn four you then will go into that it's kind of the idea um, it sucks that it says turn four for that. Uh, I, I wish it was, um, if it was, if it was three, it'd be a little bit better. So the deck is a slightly, a turn slower. Um, so you, you have to play defense for one extra turn, then you can go start, you know, s start going into your stuff. When this card is in rest mode, you have to choose one of your battle cards, one of your opponent's battle cards, and one of their energy, and those cards cannot restand during their next turn. Until the end of their opponent's next turn. So, um... They have a battle card, uh, they have an energy, you just choose those two, they can't restand. That's pretty, I mean, it's pretty helpful. Um, also then this card will sit in rest mode, which will then trigger your baby. And then when your leader is attacked, you can then restand it to uh, make it blocker and then give it 6k. So this is kind of the, the boss monster of the deck. Thankfully it doesn't have unique or else this deck would be dead. You won't, you'll be able to play it. Um, but one of the cards that you can restand off of the baby is this. So you can use your leader to give this 5k and crit. Swing once for 25k, minus two, restand. Swing again for 25k, crit. And then evolve for two, restand, and then swing two more times. Um, your, this card does not keep the 5k in the crit when you evolve, since it's a different card. So watch out for that. Um, the better play also could be um, evolving into, a, so you swing at this first, Evolve into this for two, and then use your leader ability to give this 5k and crit. So you have a 35k dual attack double strike crit. That that sometimes could be better. Just depends on how the game's going, of course. Um, some one ofs, secret ID, Champa, pretty standard stuff. Uh, the other five drop that, that you can use is the Freeze of Divine Transformation. This card uh, wipes your opponent's board of every battle card in rest mode. Uh, it's a 25k double strike blocker that cannot be removed by skills. Uh, at the end of your turn, it restands, so, so does the 25k blocker. And when your opponent activates a counter, uh, a counter, uh, when they activate a counter attack skill, you have to choose two of their cards, switch them to rest mode, and then they cannot restand. So, um, turn five, if you get to turn five, that's kind of your, that's kind of like the, the overload turn. Um, so if you get to turn five, I know it's a very, very long way in this, you know, particular meta, but um, you have this on board, so you swing twice with this, activate its ability to stop two things from playing. You play this, swing once with it. Uh, if, they, if, if they negate, or you play this first, then swing with this twice, whatever you want to do. You play this, 
Uh, you can tap two things that can't restand. You can use this to tap two things that can't restand, or to, to keep two things from restanding. And then you have a 25k blocker, and then you have a 36k blocker, technically, if you activate your leader. Um, this has barrier, this can't be removed by skills. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty interesting combination. Um, I, I, I like it. Uh, it is, obviously, it is a more of a late game deck. So if you're playing a lot of stuff in the meta currently, you may struggle, depending on what you're playing against and how you're playing. Um, but some of the cards like, you know, the power of Super Saiyan with Bergamo, the Mecha Negate, uh, some of these cards can help kind of um, push your opponent back when they're trying to go aggressive or when they're trying to play things on curve, you can use these to kind of stop your opponent. Also, this helps out a lot with being able to draw. Um, just being able to cycle more cards and using this to be able to just find anything in your deck is pretty nuts. Uh, one one cooler, um, because if you're trying to go for game, you can use this to stop their, their floodgate. And then I played the Sin Seeker Rare. Um, this is the old Sin from set 10 that you got from it as a TP, which which is really cool. This card's cost is reduced by one for every one drop in the uh, in your drop area. So you have uh, three, six, 10, 14, 17. You have 17 one drops. This card can become a one drop 35K. It has blocker, uh, has barrier, and I'm sorry, has deflect and blocker, cannot be removed by skills. When this card activates blocker, you can switch it to active mode and minus it by 5K. So it's a double, it's a, double or triple blocker basically but honestly i play this card as a one drop 35k on offense so the idea is that on turn four if i have all the stuff in the drop here i can play this for one uh i, I, I can play this for one uh and swing with it and then i can combo chomp on top of it to make it a 45k double strike for two energy um that's the idea uh, i don't really use this card defensively it's more so just a one drop 35k um, you also could run uh, the Supreme Kai as well. I run this because it's yellow, so just in case I have to charge it. Not that you would want to charge it, but uh, it's there. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that. That's the deck. I think this deck is really fun. Um, is it top tier? No. It, can it beat a lot of top tier decks? Sure. Um, inexperienced pe people who don't know who don't know what the deck does. Um, if you get a really good combo off, um, power of Super Saiyan with one, with 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 two energy up. And then going into Bergamo is one of the most powerful things that you can do in the entire game. This combination actually is broken. Um, being able to, to hit this, tap a battle card or a unison, draw a card, and then play this right afterwards is nuts. And I'm not even playing Poutine or nothing in the deck. So you also can do that as well. Uh, and then this card here, just once you once you start using this stuff, this card becomes live and this, this, this can just stop turns. So you have a lot of turn stopping power. Lots, lots of draw power, lots of draw power, and then you just go up the chain, go into these, and just keep these on board here, and then just swing with them until you win. So, it's a cool deck. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of the deck down below. Hit the bell for notifications. As I said before, we do post videos weekly on the channel. So, thank you guys for supporting, and I will see you guys in the next video.